Vowel harmony. Vowel harmony is a type of long-distance assimilatory phonological process involving vowels that occurs in some languages. A vowel or vowels in a word must be members of the same class. In languages with vowel harmony, there are constraints on which vowels may be found near each other. Suffixes and prefixes will usually follow vowel harmony rules. Many agglutinative languages have vowel harmony. The term vowel harmony is used in two different senses. In the first sense, it refers to any type of long-distance assimilatory process of vowels, either progressive or regressive. When used in this sense, the term vowel harmony is synonymous with the term metaphony. In the second sense, vowel harmony refers only to progressive vowel harmony. For regressive harmony, the term umlaut is used. In this sense, metaphony is the general term while vowel harmony and umlaut are both subtypes of metaphony. The term umlaut is also used in a different sense to refer to a type of vowel gradation. This article will use vowel harmony for both progressive and regressive harmony. Harmony processes are long distance in the sense that the assimilation involves sounds that are separated by intervening segments. In other words, harmony refers to the assimilation of sounds that are not adjacent to each other. For example, a vowel at the beginning of a word can trigger assimilation in a vowel at the end of a word. The assimilation occurs across the entire word in many languages. This is represented schematically in the following diagram. In the diagram above, the V causes the following V to assimilate and become the same type of vowel. The vowel that causes the vowel assimilation is frequently termed the trigger while the vowels that assimilate are termed targets. When the vowel triggers lie within the root or stem of a word and the affixes contain the targets, this is called stem-controlled vowel harmony. This is fairly common among languages with vowel harmony and may be seen in the Hungarian dative suffix. The dative suffix has two different forms. The form appears after the root with back vowels. The form appears after the root with front vowels. Vowel harmony often involves dimensions such as, in many languages, vowels can be said to belong to particular sets or classes, such as back vowels or rounded vowels. Some languages have more than one system of harmony. For instance, Altaic languages are proposed to have a rounding harmony superimposed over a backness harmony. Even among languages with vowel harmony, not all vowels need to participate in the vowel conversions, these vowels are termed neutral. Neutral vowels may be opaque and block harmonic processes or they may be transparent and not affect them. Intervening consonants are also often transparent. Finally, languages that do have vowel harmony often allow for lexical disharmony, or words with mixed sets of vowels even when an opaque neutral vowel is not involved. Point to two such situations, polysyllabic trigger morphemes may contain non-neutral vowels from opposite harmonic sets and certain target morphemes simply fail to harmonize. Many loanwords exhibit disharmony. For example, Turkish, would have been expected. There are three classes of vowels in Korean, positive, negative, and neutral. These categories loosely follow the front and mid vowels. Traditionally, Korean had strong vowel harmony, however, this rule is no longer observed strictly in modern Korean. In modern Korean, it is only applied in certain cases such as onomatopoeia, adjectives, adverbs, conjugation, and interjections. The vowel, and Mongolian exhibits both a pharyngeal harmony and a rounding harmony. In particular, the pharyngeal harmony involves the vowels, and rounding harmony only affects the open vowels. Turkic languages inherit their systems of vowel harmony from Proto-Turkic, which already had a fully developed system. Azerbaijani's system of vowel harmony has both front-slash-back and rounded-slash-unrounded vowels. Tatar has no neutral vowels. The vowel E is found only in loanwords. Other vowels also could be found in loanwords. But they are seen as back vowels. Tatar language also has a rounding harmony, but it is not represented in writing. O and O could be written only in the first syllable, but vowels they mark could be pronounced in the place where and E are written. Kazakh system of vowel harmony is primarily a front slash back system, but there is also a system of rounding harmony that is not represented by the orthography, which strongly resembles the system in Kyrgyz. Kyrgyz's system of vowel harmony is primarily a front slash back system. But there is also a system of rounding harmony, which strongly resembles that of Kazakh. Turkish has a two-dimensional vowel harmony system, where vowels are characterized by two features, plus or minus front, and, plus or minus rounded. There are two sets of vocal harmony systems, a simple one and a complex one. The simple one is concerned with the low vowels a, a and has only the, plus or minus front feature. 
The complex one is concerned with the high vowel psi, u diaresis, u and has both, plus or minus front, and, plus or minus rounded, features. The close mid vowels o, o are not involved in vowel harmony processes. Turkish has two classes of vowels front and back. Vowel harmony states that words may not contain both front and back vowels. Therefore, most grammatical suffixes come in front and back forms, for example Turkiate in Turkey but Almanyada in Germany. In addition, there is a secondary rule that I and in suffixes tend to become u diaresis and u respectively after rounded vowels, so certain suffixes have additional forms. This gives constructions such as Turkiate or it is Turkey, Kaptrit is the door, but Gundurit is day, Paltodurit is the coat. Not all suffixes obey vowel harmony perfectly. In the suffix your, the o is invariant, while the i changes according to the preceding vowel, for example sun ire, he or she slash it fades. Likewise, in the suffix ken, the e is invariant, ramadakan, when in Rome, and so is the i in the suffix sebel, in an labelier, credible. The suffix ki exhibits partial harmony, never taking a back vowel but allowing only the front vowel variant ku, dunku, belonging to yesterday. Yarnki, belonging to tomorrow. Most Turkish words do not only have vowel harmony for suffixes, but also internally. However, there are many exceptions. Compound words are considered separate words with respect to vowel harmony. Vowels do not have to harmonize between members of the compound. Vowel harmony does not apply for loan words, as in autobus, from French autobus. There are also a few native modern Turkish words that do not follow the rule. However, in such words, Suffixes nevertheless harmonize with the final vowel, thus an esse, his slash her mother, and voli bulkyu, voli player. In some loan words the final vowel is an a, o or u and thus looks like a back vowel, but is phonetically actually a front vowel, and governs vowel harmony accordingly. An example is the word sat, meaning hour or clock, a loan word from Arabic. Its plural is salar. This is not truly an exception to vowel harmony itself, rather, it is an exception to the rule that it denotes a front vowel. Disharmony tends to disappear through analogy, especially within loan words, for example Husna less than earlier Husni, from Arabic Husni, Muslim and Muslim, Muslim less than Ottoman Turkish Musliman, from Persian Mosulman. Many, though not all, Uralic languages show vowel harmony between front and back vowels. Vowel harmony is often hypothesized to have existed in Proto-Uralic, though its original scope remains a matter of discussion. Vowel harmony is found in Ghanasan and is reconstructed also for Proto-Samoidic. Hungarian, like its distant relative Finnish, has the same system of front, back, and intermediate vowels but is more complex than the Onin Finnish, and some vowel harmony processes. The basic rule is that words including at least one back vowel get back vowel suffixes the arm, while words excluding back vowels get front vowel suffixes the hand. One vowel words including only the neutral vowels i, e or y are unpredictable. One essential difference in classification between Hungarian and Finnish is that standard Hungarian does not observe a difference between Finnish a and e. The Hungarian front vowel e is closely pronounced as the Finnish front vowel a. Point seven out of the ten local dialects have the vowel e diaresis which has never been part of the Hungarian alphabet, and thus is not used in practice. Unrounded front vowels can occur together with either back vowels or rounded front vowels, but rounded front vowels and back vowels can occur together only in words of foreign origins. The basic rule is that words including at least one back vowel take back vowel suffixes, while words excluding back vowels usually take front vowel suffixes. Some other rules and guidelines to consider grammatical suffixes in Hungarian can have one, two, three, or four forms an example on basic numerals. Vowel harmony occurred in southern Monsi. In the Kandid language, vowel harmony occurs in the eastern dialects, and affects both inflectional and derivational suffixes. The Vikvashugan dialect has a particularly extensive system of vowel harmony, with seven different front back pairs. The vowels, and can only occur in the first syllable of the word, and do not actively participate in vowel harmony, but they do trigger it. Vowel harmony is lost in the northern and southern dialects as well as in the Surgut dialect of Eastern Kandy. Most varieties of the Mari language have vowel harmony. The Ertsi language has a limited system of vowel harmony, involving only two vowel phonemes, versus Moksha, the closest relative of Ertsi, has no phonemic vowel harmony, though has front and back allophones in a distribution similar to the vowel harmony in Ertsi.
Vowel harmony is found in most of the Finnic languages. It has been lost in Livonian and in Standard Estonian, where the front vowels U diarysis A diarysis O occur only in the first syllable. Voro, a dialect of South Estonian, however retains vowel harmony. In the Finnish language, there are three classes of vowels front, back, and neutral, where each front vowel has a back vowel pairing. Grammatical endings such as case and derivational endings but not in clitic shape only archiphonemic vowels U, O, A which are realized as either back or front inside a single word. From vowel harmony it follows that the initial syllable of each single word controls the frontness or backness of the entire word. Noun initially, the neutral vowels are transparent to and unaffected by vowel harmony. In the initial syllable, for example, some dialects that have a sound change opening diphthong codas also permit archiphonemic vowels in the initial syllable. For example, standard D is reflected as ya or ya controlled by non-initial syllables, in the Tampere dialect, for example Tiatai but Mayakamayaka, as evidenced by Tuoteasa. Even if phonologically front vowels precede the suffix NSA, grammatically it is preceded by a word controlled by a back vowel. As shown in the examples, neutral vowels make the system unsymmetrical, as they are front vowels phonologically, but leave the front slash back control to any grammatical front or back vowels. There is little or no change in the actual vowel quality of the neutral vowels. As a consequence, Finnish speakers often have problems with pronouncing foreign words which do not obey vowel harmony. For example, Olympia is often pronounced Olympia. The position of some loans is unstandardized or L standardized. Where a foreign word violates vowel harmony be not using front vowels because it begins with a neutral vowel. Then last syllable generally counts, although this rule is irregularly followed. Experiments indicate that, for example, millionari always becomes millionaria, but mertiri becomes equally frequently both mertiria and mertiria, even by the same speaker. With respect to vowel harmony, compound words can be considered separate words. For example, sisku has both u and y, but it consists of two words sis and ku, and declines sis middle. Ku middle. Ta. The same goes for enclitics. For example tox pain backwards consists of the word toxa to back and pain wards, which gives for example toxa pain can. If fusion takes place, the vowel is harmonized by some speakers, for example talon and pro talon and tamen lanen. Some Finnish words whose stems contain only neutral vowels exhibit an alternating pattern in terms of vowel harmony when inflected or forming new words through derivation. Examples include Mary C, Maresa in the C, but Merda, not Merda, very blood. Veresta from the blood, but Verda, not Verda, Pelita to be afraid, but Pelco fear, not Pelco, keep a pain, but Kippy sore, not Kippy. Helsinki slang has slang words that have roots violating vowel harmony, for example Sorka. This can be interpreted as Swedish influence. Vowel harmony is present in all yokuts and languages and dialects. For instance, Yua Elmani has four vowels. These can be grouped as in the table below. Vowels and suffixes must harmonize with either its non counterparts or with our non counterparts. For example, the vowel in the aorist suffix appears as when it follows a in the root, but when it follows all other vowels, it appears as. Similarly, the vowel in the non directive gerundial suffix appears as when it follows a in the root, otherwise, it appears as. In addition to the harmony found in suffixes, there is a harmony restriction on word stems wherein stems with more than one syllable all vowels are required to be of the same lip rounding and tongue height dimensions. For example, a stem must contain all high rounded vowels or all low rounded vowels, etc. This restriction is further complicated by long high vowels being lowered in an epithetic vowel which does not harmonize with stem vowels. There is some evidence for vowel harmony according to vowel height or ATR in the prefix i.e. In inscriptions from pre sargonic Lagash, many cases of partial or complete assimilation of the vowel of certain prefixes and suffixes to one in the adjacent syllable are reflected in writing in some of the later periods, and there is a noticeable though not absolute tendency for disyllabic stems to have the same vowel in both syllables. What appears to be vowel contraction and hiatus is also very common. Vowel harmony occurs to some degree in many other languages, such as, although vowel harmony is the most well-known harmony, not all types of harmony that occur in the world's languages involve only vowels. Other types of harmony involve consonants. Rarer types of harmony are those that involve tone or both vowels and consonants. Some languages have harmony processes that involve an interaction between vowels and consonants. For example, 
Chilcotin has a phonological process known as vowel flattening where vowels must harmonize with uvular and pharyngealized consonants. Chilcotin has two classes of vowels. Additionally, Chilcotin has a class of pharyngealized flat consonants. Whenever a consonant of this class occurs in a word, all preceding vowels must be flat vowels. If flat consonants do not occur in a word, then all vowels will be of the non-flat class. Other languages of this region of North America, such as Statimsits, have similar vowel consonant harmonic processes. Syllabic synharmony was a process in the Proto-Slavic language ancestral to all modern Slavic languages. It refers to the tendency of frontness to be generalized across an entire syllable. It was therefore a form of consonant vowel harmony in which the property palatal or non-palatal applied to an entire syllable at once rather than to each sound individually. The result was that back vowels were fronted after J or a palatal consonant, and consonants were palatalized before J or a front vowel. Diphthongs were harmonized as well, although they were soon monophthongized because of a tendency to end syllables with a vowel. This rule remained in place for a long time and ensured that a syllable containing a front vowel always began with a palatal consonant, and a syllable containing J was always preceded by a palatal consonant and followed by a front vowel. A similar process occurs in Skultsami, where palatalization of consonants and fronting of vowels is a suprasegmental process applying to a whole syllable. Suprasegmental palatalization is marked with the letter, which is a freestanding acute accent, for example in the word Vaarr mountain, hill. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.